for the final video in this section, I'm going to be watching you. Not only that, but I want to talk about thrust. A rocket creates thrust by shooting mass out the back of an engine. So if you consider like a standard kid rocket engine, it's got this powder in here. And the idea is there's an igniter, and uh, you connect this to some battery over here. And there's probably a switch also. But when you close this switch right here, you cause this little bit of metal here to heat up, which causes a fire in there. And then this rocket goes that direction. We should probably mount this engine on an actual rocket shaped thing with some fins and whatnot. Anyway, uh, hot gas, the products of this explosion are going to be shooting out that direction. So the mass is going to be changing. And we know that change in momentum, well, I guess that's going to be change in m times v. That's what momentum is. So change in momentum would be change in mass times velocity. And we previously said that we're not going to allow the mass to change. But now, let's allow the mass to change. So we could say that what's actually causing the biggest change in momentum is not the change in velocity, but the change in mass. So we're going to say that it's change in mass times velocity. And you know the impulse momentum equation tells you that change in momentum is force times time. So if we solve this for force, we could find that the force is delta P over delta T. And my plan is to take delta P right here, which is delta M times V, and uh, divide that by T. No, that's not my plan. I want to find, yeah, no it is, it is. Okay, check this out. So I'm gonna take out the velocity and say that delta M over delta T, this is a derivative. This is how quickly the mass is leaving the rocket. And so the force on the rocket is the velocity times how quickly mass leaves the rocket. And if we want to be, uh, we want to be honest about this, we could say truly we've got dm dt, a derivative of the mass with uh, respect to time times the velocity. And the, uh, that's the definition of a thrust. This is a thrust force because mass is being spit out of the back of the rocket. I'd like you to consider this. The interesting thing about this is that you know acceleration is force divided by mass. So if we plug this in right here, we're going to say that the acceleration is this force, which is dm dt times the velocity divided by the mass. Notice that as time goes on, if this, if the mass is decreasing, then the acceleration will be getting, it, the acceleration will be strong, right? Because of the fact that the mass is spinning out of this rocket at a steady rate. But the acceleration, because the mass of the rocket itself is decreasing. And for the case of the shuttle, remember that shuttle thing? But for the case of the shuttle, it's actually throwing off these enormous tanks of gas once they're empty. So its mass is decreasing tremendously. The mass is decreasing. So as a function of time, the acceleration actually increases. I'm not talking about velocity increases. That would just be acceleration. This is a derivative of acceleration. So in summary, thrust is a jerk.